Okay, folks, fine. Today we'll proceed for key points about the serve. Like in the previous session, we have covered. We took one uh, single app, which is a Java based web application. Here we'll cover these web applications, and here is my dead server. Dead server. In the last session, we have covered about the dead server. which is available in the one date app web inf classes folder or classes directory you can call <coughs> one thing is keep your mind our servlet class our servlet class must be public in order to make it visible to servlet container for instantiation of the life cycle methods like a service like a init like a destroy so because of that reason to create our servlet class by our servlet container We should have to make our class as a public. We have to make our class as a public. Look at here. In the last sessions, I have made my servlet class as what was public. So here, dead servlet is a class which extends generic servlet, and I made my class as a public because this class should be visible to my servlet container outside of my web application as well as instantiation of my servlet program. One thing, guys. We never execute servlet program manually. We never execute servlet program manually because whenever we give the request, servlet container takes the responsibility of the execution from birth to death of the object of my servlet. So because of that reason, I can say we never execute servlet program manually because servlet container takes care of this execution from request arrival. executing of your request response processing your data and sending response to the browser so for every request for every request coming to our servlet program for every request coming to our servlet program the servlet container calls one set of request from our response objects and calls service method having one of these request and response object as an argument so the, in this case if i proceed for service method in the service method i can i have passed a request comma response object so here whatever the request which is coming from the browser so my servlet program my servlet program for every request coming to our servlet program servlet container calls one set of request and one set of response objects on the service method having these request comma response generation logic as a so for every request coming to our servlet program the servlet container calls one set of request comma response objects and calls service method having these request response object as an argument so here is my service method here is my service method so ap apart from this one a programmer receives servlet container supplied request comma response object as a parameter of a service uses them for request processing and response generation so what are the container supplied request comma response object these objects will be utilized by the programmer to receive the request from the browser as well as generate the response as well as generate the response so programmer receives servlet container supplied one thing is keep your mind here we are not creating the objects of servlet request and servlet response these object has been ported by servlet container so programmer receives servlet container supplied request comma response object as a parameter of a service and uses them as a request processing and response generation so here i am using one more line that is response dot set content type i am passing the parameter as a string which in the form of text text forward slash html means this gives the, this lines this line gives the instruction to the browser window to the web server to become ready to display html code as a text based on the web page when i execute this application when we execute this application what is the response coming to my browser what is the response coming to my browser that response type that response content type should be text and html which in the form of web page which in the form of web page boss okay next line here we are creating one more object called one more reference name called pw which is a reference of print writer so here response dot get writer response dot get writer we are getting the objects of print writer here we can get we can expect stream objects of the print writer from the response pointing to res object pointing to res objects res objects contains inbuilt stream objects called print writer object 
So stream objects is here, boss. So here I created print writer pw assignment operator res dot get writer. So here I got print writer objects as a stream, as a stream to send the response to the browser. The purpose of the stream is to contain your wrap the contents and send over the network and send over the network. So here one thing is keep your mind. So I, I would like to give a note. Pw dot println means which is an object. So before proceeding this point, what is the stream object is? Stream object can point to the files as well as objects and can perform read or write operations on those files or objects. Print writer pw stream object can be used to write the message to response object. Means the purpose of print writer object, print writer stream object, it is used to write the messages, write the messages to the response objects. Means whatever the contents I want to be display onto my web browser as a web page, that will be carried by my response object. That will be carried by response object. So here pw.println my content should be displayed as a date. So this, this is HTML tags. So this will this will the purpose of this one beautification of my data. I want to keep my data as a bold and center. Bold and center, these are HTMLs and display the content at date and time each. So I want to create I want to display my date and time. So here I took my date and time is here. So write the content. So I created one object called date d is equal to new date. Date d is equal to new date. String s is equal to d dot two string d dot two string. So here pw I'm displaying my content date and time is date and time is. So here I'm holding my date into the form of s string s and this s to be displayed in the form of date on to the browser on the browser. So here what I'm trying to do I'm trying to display my date and time and the date current date and time onto my browser. So here pw dot print align sends the given message to the response objects send the given message to the response to the given object this response object this res object sends received message to the web server sends received message to the web server and this web server sends received message to the browser window as a response connections means with the help of response objects my print writer objects will send the received message to the web server and the web server responsibility is that Web server sends the received message to the browser window as a response connection. One thing is keep your mind. Print writer pw dot println or print method. Print ln or print generated method with respect to print writer messages comes to browser window as a web page. Whereas system dot out dot print ln statement generated messages goes to server console as a debugging and configuration messages goes to server and configuration messages one thing is keep your mind guys the modification done in source code of the servlet program the modification done in the source code of the servlet program belonging belonging to the belonging to the deployed web application will be reflected only will be reflected only after the recompilation of the servlet program and reloading of the web application and reloading of the web applications in this scenario will proceed for so here the modification done in the source code of the servlet program belonging to the deployed web application will be reflected only after the recompilation of the servlet program and reloading of the web applications take an example i want to display some message onto my server console i am modifying one line i'm modifying one line in my system in my dead server program system dot out dot print ln to see the pw dot print ln and system dot out dot print ln hi uh, date and time is date and time is i want to display on server i want to display on same on the server so i can use system dot out dot print ln to give this effect so this line will display this this statement will display will display on on the server console on the server console whereas this statement will display on the browser console one thing is keep your mind just now as i said to you the modification done in the modification done in source code of the servlet program so here i'm modifying on my date servlet data 
server dot java dead server dot java program belonging to a deployed web application will be reflected only after the recompilation of the servlet program and reloading of the web applications so as i said to you pw dot print and print method generated messages comes to browser window as a web page means this line will be displayed the content of this line pw dot print and will be displayed on the browser where but whereas this line whereas this line will be will be displayed on the server console whereas system dot out dot print and contain statement will be displayed on where was statement generated messages goes to server console as a debugging or configuration messages so let's proceed for i done some modifications i done some modifications let me proceed for recompilation and remodification of my source code so here these are the important points about my servlets how can i able to modify let me go to my servlet program so here i'll go let me take this path how to compile to for for recompilation i'll go to here slash java c java c space data server dot java i have compiled box to reload i'll go for reloading the applications now look at here i done some modification in my source code let me recompile again to recompile here so before this one i'll give some effect whether it's i just have modified but i haven't recompiled means i done let me go to my servlet program so here is my uh, uh program program files apache software foundation tomcat 9.0 bin let me start my server now it, it has the permissions and the windows permissions so windows permission has been, has been provided so the server is starting now server is starting now so let me close let me take this statement and control x control z so actually i am modified from my workspace not from my tomcat console so let me close this this servlet and let me go to my bin the web app so here here i am moving to my web app so here is a web apps and one data app and web inf web.xml this is my web.xml and let me go to my my data servlet under the classes you will find data servlet boss so here is data servlet i want to modify as i said to you the modification done in the servlet won't be reflected until unless you won't reload the application now my servlet started yeah it started on the port number called 2017 let me launch my application now let me launch my application local host local host 2017 slash one date app one date app slash test one i think i give the url for this my uh, application is test one now we can expect the date and time is we can expect the date and time is sunday october 15 sunday october 15 2017 so this is date and time so i modified boss but can you able to see any server console messages here no boss there is no server console message so what i have to do i have to recompile i done some modifications here so i i done some modification of pasted i want to display this line on my server console to display this message on the server console i have to recompile i have to recompile to recompile go to here java c data servlet data server dot java so here i am recompiling now after recompilations just just look at the difference whether it is give the proper functionality or not again i am hitting one more time control f5 control f5 or refreshing my page refreshing the page so after refreshing the page the date should display also on the server console but it is not displaying why because after modifications i have successfully recompiled i have successfully recompiled as i said to you for recompilation the modification done in the source code of the servlet program belonging to the deployed web applications will be reflected only after recompilation of the servlet program and the reloading of the web applications so means i have recompiled let me reload to reload my web applications let me go to my tomcat server console so here is my tomcat server console so here is my ma manager app let me give you my username and password so b o s s b o s s so here so here how to reload so reload here hit the reload button so this is the reload button hit the reload button once reload you can go to here data data test one now you can see the data and time should be displayed sorry this is the command prompt now you can see here 
date and time is is a display here okay boss this is the proof this is the proof about this one so mark here date and time is can you see here so this is the way that you can able to get that you can able to see the messages on the server console means system dot out dot print alien related messages system dot out dot print alien related information contains system dot out dot print alien related contents will be displayed on the server console whereas pw dot print alien related contents will be displayed will be displayed on the browser this content is displaying on where boss and it is displaying on the browser and it is displaying on the browser na so here and this is about us pw dot print alien which is a, which is object of print writer and here system dot out dot print related contents will be displayed on to the server console so these are the key messages so how to go how to change how to reload again here so i will give you some note points so take this note points here how to reload for reloading this is for recompilation this is for recompilation and let me proceed for here reloading also for reloading so here for reloading so you what you do go to tomcat home page so how will you go to tomcat home page so here is tomcat home page tomcat home page first go to tomcat home page so tomcat home page after this tomcat home page so how will you go to tomcat home page after successful running so you can go to tomcat home page by typing your appropriate port number along with the local host along with the local host if you are not happy with this one if you have to work with the ip addresses 127.0.0.1 colon 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 2017 why i am passing as a 2017 because my tomcat server is running on which port number boss 2017 you can see here you can see here http http hyphen neo http hyphen neo so you can see here http hyphen neo so this is my port number this is my port number in shop 2017 let me give as a 2020 i will change i will modify this my port number later on so this is my port number so that's why i'm passing here as a port number i can hit the enter so this is the way this is also the way by using the port number and ip address also you can use local host and port number here so how will you go so proceed for manager app so here b o s s i'm passing my boss boss user and passwords and here i go on to my home page and this is my tomcat manager this is my tomcat web application manager you can see here tomcat web application manager so after moving to here i am proceeding for tomcat home tomcat manager so here next to tomcat manager go to next to tomcat manager so after tomcat manager tomcat manager submit username and password submit username and password submit username and passwords so here in the next after submitting username and passwords you will get this tomcat home manager so here is your one date app so here is your one date app you can see here one date app is there so here one date app then i'll go to here one date app one date app and next reload reload so go to here where was here is the reload button so here is the reload you can click on reload so here is the reload here is the reload now okay fine is taking time and rotating here also you can proceed for here also and reload the same way you can able to proceed once it is all reloaded and then you can proceed for you can see the difference here you can see the difference here okay boss so these are the key important points about your sorlet program so these are the key importance key points about your sorlet program okay fine boss